Hey everyone, I'm going to give you a brief uh, instructional video on how to work on your guided breakout, uh, creating your first voice voice conversation that you are going to use for the guided breakout, then maybe walk the room uh, while your guided breakout is occurring. So uh, the first thing that you are going to need to do is to get into the URL that was provided to you, in this case, beta.voicevoice.com slash designer slash login. And you are going to use the email address and the passwords that were provided to you already, your credentials, right? I'm going to sign in uh, to my account. And you are going to notice that I have no conversations here. It's completely empty. And the reason why there are no conversations there is because it's a new account. So this is basically the view that you are going to get once you get into voicevoice.com. You are going to click on new conversation to create uh, the guided kind of breakout that you're going to use for your maestro conference meeting, conference, or even voice voice as a standalone platform. Uh, you can choose to take uh, the contents from an existing conversation by clicking in here and choosing to, co to copy content from that conversation that you have created in the past. Since there are no prior conversations here, this is a new account, as I said, I'm going to start fresh. So I'm going to call this Edit breakouts uh, v1. My URL keyword is going to be GB, GBO uh, v1. My conversation description is something like this conversation is going to be used during my icebreaker stage of my MC conference. Here we can choose a registration page video and profile picture in case we want to use this conversation as a standalone uh, conversation for voice voice and not as a guided breakout per se. So in this case, I am going to use this conversation as a guided breakout. So I'm going to disregard the registration and the profile picture. There are not going to be any registrations here. I'm going to get into this conversation from Maestro Conference. So I'm going to click on save. And now I have my conversation right here. I'm going to click on the conversation and I am going to be provided with a convenient template that I'm going to use to uh, have a better idea on how my conversation is going to look. So uh, four pages are here, the on-ramp, the introduction, the breakout page, and the closing page. Uh, one piece of advice that I always give to people that are starting fresh with their conversation creation is to focus on the content that they are going to put into their conversation first, uh, whether it is in the form of an outline or a Google document or anything that would pertain to how your event is going to look like, please keep that documentation handy so that you can get into the voice voice designer with one idea in mind. Uh, once you have that idea, I choose to create the pages that are going to encompass uh, my conversation. So in here, uh, let's assume that this guided breakout is going to work as some sort of icebreaker for my attendees. I am going to choose the page one to be uh, the introductions. Uh, so I'm going to make this page a breakout. No videos, no multimedia content, just a breakout page. And the message that I'm going to add here is please take two minutes to introduce yourselves. In here, text about buttons, I am going to let them know. Once you're done introducing yourselves, please click And I'm going to add a button that would pertain to uh, moving to the next stage. The label is going to be next. Uh, there are not going to be any on ramps here. We are going to jump directly into the conversation. So I'm going to choose no on the on ramp. And the target page is going to be page number two. Save. One thing to notice. On advanced settings, you must keep into consideration the capacity of your room. 
three persons as a maximum group size. Once you have finished your conversations design on voice voice and you would like to get into it as a guided breakout during your master conference meeting, all you really need to do is to start that meeting as an admin or a presenter, then click on settings on the top panel, then on admin, and you are going to be provided with a pop-up that's going to show you on people view by default. But if you click on guided breakouts and you add the conversation ID that pertains to the voice voice conversation that you just created, which in this case would be GVOV1, then click on apply and activate, you are going to move from that default master conference view into the guided breakout that you just designed on voice voice. So if you recall correctly, the settings that we added on the voice voice conversation pertain to having a maximum group capacity of three persons. So in this case, since we are on a five person meeting on master conference, we are going to be moved into groups of three and two respectively. So as you can notice here, I am paired with another person on a single room, and then the other room is going to have the three remaining persons uh, paired together. So this pairing process happens at random, but you can choose to also do it uh, on a more selective manner, and I can show you that uh, later on on another tutorial. Another thing to keep into consideration during your attendees maestro conference guided breakout experience is the need to put your attendees microphone feeds set on breakout only. You can do this through the conductor interface link found on your conversation settings. So how do you get to walk the room? How do you get to be in this view that enables invisibly watching the guided breakouts, interacting with the different attendees as their breakouts are taking place, moving people from room to room and kicking them out if you would like as well? The line monitor is available by getting into the following URL beta.voicevoice.com slash admin slash home question mark monitor equals show and then if you select the voice voice monitor option you are going to be able to see the voice voice conversations or guided breakouts that are currently taking place and you can choose to move people from room to room you can choose to send host announcements kick people out create new rooms if you'd like or simply invisibly watch as the conversation is taking place so that you can get a better grasp of how the conversation is going. Once you have gotten into a point in which you want to finalize your guided breakouts, all you really need to do is go to the settings on your top panel, click on admin, and then click back on people view. And once you choose to activate this view, you are going to be brought back to your initial full meeting status. I would also suggest that you put your attendees back into the public microphone feed. And just like that, you have finalized your guided breakouts. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you and please uh, stay in touch and let me know if I can be of any added assistance. Thank you.